hello and welcome to my channel and today we've got an unboxing yes it's purple post day let's get it open so this is an unboxing from diamond art studio uk uh, so yeah let's get straight in always it always breaks my heart to uh, unravel them ribbons but there we go uh, they got their little diamond art studio sticker on the back get rid of that and let's get inside. Oh, I'll, I'll show you the card first as well. We've just got their little uh, business card. And on the back of that has got their website and their Facebook page. Which they, they do announce lots of things on their Facebook page. So check them out. Right, let's get in. So here we go. Uh, now, this is, I'm really excited for this. It's one of their new artists. So yeah, you might not have seen this before, or not not in very many places. I've certainly not seen an unboxing for it. And uh, yeah, I've decided to do this for an event they're hosting called Purple Showers, which is, instead of April Showers, it's purple. So if you're watching this in the future, that's why um, I've, I've got this particular one. I was going to do Outside the Sweet Shop, which was my last canvas that I bought from them. Uh, just to cover their book. I love their little hologram that they have on their box. Um, yeah, I was going to do Outside the Sweet Shop, which is a 60 by 80 and has 197 colours. I do have an unboxing of that if you want to check that out at the end. And uh, yeah, right, let's get into this. I thought I'd cut myself some slack and go for a slightly smaller painting. But as you can see, there's still lots of colours. So I'm going to put this to one side. Right, and, and I'm going to unroll the canvas. We've got a bit of fluff there. So Diamond Art Studios do have their... Right, let me just get rid of that. So you don't get a snip. Oh, yes, I forgot. I bought some... I, thought, I forgot. I bought some diamond painting putty as well. Uh, they sell two diamond painting putties from the, the UK. So but this is Kat's Putty by Kat. Uh, she has her own diamond painting channel. I'll leave that her down in the description, though you've probably heard of her. And actually, I'm just going to open this. And have a sniff if I can get in. And the other one they do is Abby's diamond painting putty. I don't use a lot of putty because I usually place squares with tweezers, so it's only really for my round paintings. So we got this, and we've got surprise, surprise, it's purple in <laughs> in honor. So it's fru fruity, sm fruity s'mores words. Let me have a sniff. Oh, that's um. I don't know what to make of that. It is fruity. It's got an almost, it, it is fruity, but it's almost like as well, it's got like, um, I can't, I can't describe it. I would say almost like an incense um, stick. Not what I'm expecting, to be honest, but uh, fruity s'mores. It's still nice. And, uh, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for the unboxing. So just if you are new here and you are not familiar with how I do my unboxings, we're just going to let that canvas relax a bit. Um, I put chapters down the bottom. So I do look at the toolkit, tool the drills, the canvas, obviously, and the drill field and all that sort of stuff. So if you're not interested in all of it, you can just skip along, look at the bits that you like. So we'll start with the toolkit. Get all these out. I'm going to use this. It's, it's quite nice. Oh, there's still something in there. Oh, we've had, we've had a wax village. <laughs> so now you can see you get three bits of wax in their little pot. These are handy, these little pots, because if you want, you can use them for um, trash drills as well. Once you've, once you've used the wax, then you can just find another use for the pot. We have, naturally, a purple pen. We've got purple tweezers, which I have used before now, and because they're the angle tip, which is quite unusual, and they're the stabby kind. But I really like placing with uh, purple tweezers. And it's probably the main reason why I got a toolkit, because I like those tweezers. Right, so we've got, uh, I forgot, yes, yeah, so this is a seven and a four placer. Should that be your desire? And we've got one of these moth, moths for style trays. And it's like one of those linen bags. Let me pop all this away. The only thing I think I'd quite like if they added to their uh, toolkits would be uh, washi tape, because I do find that handy. Right, so let's look at the drills. As you can see, there are a lot of colours in here. Oh, I, sh I, I will not talk while I rustle. 
So um, I'm, I'll get the bag open and we'll have a look at. I'm not going to pull them. I'm not going to pull them all out because I'll never get them back in. But we shall have a selection. I don't think there's any ABs in here, so there's nothing to worry about that. I don't think. Uh, but let's get in. I pulled back the cover, so hopefully we can dive in and have a look. So this has uh, 89 colours, so it's by no means a low count one. But you can see. Do you know what? Let's turn it around. There we go. So now you can see the colours a little bit better. Uh, but as you can see, they are um, very sort of earthy tones. I mean, we've got some purples and some peaches in here, but they're very soft pastelies. We've got some like toffee browns, but we do have pinks. Few pinks, but only a scattering. And that is a hint of what kind of style this painting is. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint before we get to the sticker sheet. Just let that motor mic go past. Um, this is a, a, an animal print. So if that's if, if nature is your vibe, but we it's um, yeah it's got some brighter colours woven into some sort of very natural colours as well. So lots of pinks and peaches, lots of these pinks. Oh, I'm so excited. I say as soon as I saw this, this is part of their new stock. It's a new, brand new artist and to their range and that's why I wanted to do them it was a last minute switch last minute switch to do this for purple showers nice minty one there I'm not sure how the colors are coming up with this I should have turned my light on I never learn it's, it's a really cloudy day so it's not very um, it's not very hardly any of them three seven six five but a little bit blue and then we've got peaches and some like grays and that's got that's a hint of green, green, sort of terracotta. So all these colours that work together. I'm trying not to mess up my jewels unsuccessfully. And then finally, we've got a bunch of 3865. Right, so that's a quick drive by of the drills. Let me put them away. One last look. 89 colours. Yeah, looking forward to this. Right, let's get rid of those and let's have a look at the sticker sheet. So let's get, oh, I like that these uh, get put in these little plastic bags when there's more than one sheet of stickers. Actually, maybe they do if there's only one sheet. I've not, I've not bought anything from Diamond Art Studio for a while that hasn't had a lot of colours. <laughs> right, so here it is. Oh, look at him. So this is I See You from Diamond Art Studio, as I said, and it's by Rosie Smith. And uh, yeah, obviously, legally licensed artwork. We have two sheets of stickers. But I will put, well, actually, I'll put a picture on screen when we look at the canvas so you can compare it then more easily. But yeah, he's a foxy and he's absolutely gorgeous. But you can see where these colours are. Um, obviously, he's got all these browns and like the greens and stuff, but he's got these little hints of pink in him. And uh, yeah, so 89 colours. Let's look at the canvas. Right, just make sure I've got it the right way around. And let's do it. Oh, look at him. Oh, I've got so much reflection from the window. Sorry about that. Um, but this is where, oh, and obviously I can't fit him in because uh, he's a 60 by 60. And so this is where I'll put a picture on screen. Or maybe I'll put it up there. And then you can still see his little gorgeous little, look at him. Isn't he a handsome boy? Uh, but yeah, this is the picture. And he looks absolutely gorgeous. And, oh, go away, reflection. So you can see where all this white is going in the background. And, uh, um, and also why there is no I ABs, because uh, I, this, is a, this is a painting that I think actually it just suits it to just be colorful. Right, so let's check for sticky, shall we? Oh. <laughs> yeah okay that's definitely sticky so i check all i always check every corner because i have had problem with canvases in the past that if glue is going to go bad uh or, or not be on there properly then it's usually corners is the uh first sign that it's going to misbehave oops go back yep oh no and i always it's, it always makes me kind of sad to pull back the cover because I'm terrible at putting the cover back. And I come along and it's like Wrinkle City. 
<laughs> right, so that's nice and sticky. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was especially sticky. I had trouble getting the, the cover up, but it is sticky on the canvas. So, yeah, so far, so good. Let's get him back around the right way. Shall we look at the drill field, actually? Let's look at, let's look for some colours. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you this. Because this is a feature that's unique to, um, I don't know why that, that's so hard to get the cover up there. That's weird. Okay, it's fine here. There's like some places where it's like super sticky. It's like the cover is actually stuck to the canvas. It's that sticky. Okay. So this is a, a thing that's unique to Diamond Art Studio, as far as I know. Uh, they don't print symbols in white. They print them in yellow. And that way, by printing it with an ink, it's like the colours from around... Because white isn't actually an ink. They just leave the canvas white. And then the ink, the colours next to it will bleed into it as it's printed. And that's why sometimes they can be hard to read. So they use yellow ink on their symbols that would be white. And that helps keep them sharp. So, yeah, we've got... Actually, let's have a look at... Well, we, we, we can see here these these symbols are, are really, really quite sharp. I, I'm not worried about that. The seven on the grey here is a little bit faint. Like, they're very similar. I know that sounds silly because one's grey and one's yellow. But um, those are quite... Uh, close, but <gasps> okay, you didn't see that small incident there. Usually, my party trick is to stick the canvas to the table, but this time I actually managed to stick it to the um, to the plastic at the bottom. Let's wrap this up. We'll move down here. Honestly, it's so strange. Look, you can see, I don't know if you can, can see, this place is where I'm having trouble getting the plastic off. Look. Can you see here, it's like, it's not shiny. It's like fingerprints or something. And that's where the this sticky is sticking to the glue. I don't know, that's weird. Maybe the glue was still um, not quite dry there not quite cured so that when the plastic goes on top of it um, it's actually stuck to it because it does it up here as well like you can see here see how that and you can see the mark on the plastic I, well I can I don't know if it shows in real life it, it on the camera but I can see it in real life but here like there's a little band that's kind of sticky in itself and it's like the glue has come up on that. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I'm just mentioning it. Let's look at these darker symbols then. So you can see we've got some... Uh, so they, this is where they've got the black. And uh, obviously that, that's really sharp as well. Uh, maybe we'll look at the key and see... Because the one thing about the high colour count is um, obviously they have to dig deep for some symbols. And on the one that I did through the, outside the sweet shop, obviously that, that had 197 colours. It had a lot of things to, you know, work with. So 89, this should be child's play, but we'll just have a look. So we've got that. If this is important to you, like the one and the two and the three and the four and, a, you know, all up to eight is the symbol on the canvas and it's the code. And so they don't have B because that would be very similar to eight and things like that. So they do, they are quite conscientious. In fact, there aren't that many letters at all. We've got A, D, F, H, J, K, M, and Y, and then a lowercase e. And then outside of that, they are all symbols. Oh, I've never seen that symbol before. If you can see that one, it's a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is that? An unidentifiable thing. Um, anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> this one is similar in... 
in its symbol, that's three circles versus three dots here, but they're very different colors, so that's not a problem. So I don't, this is a nice canvas in the sense that if you don't have a light box or a light pad to work on, then I don't think you need one. Everything looks really clear. And, uh, but if you have a light pad, then it might help, which is the general rule in life. So there he is. Again, I'll put the picture up on screen because of this glare that I'm getting today. Uh, just so you can see what he looks like. But he is a very, very handsome boy. I can't wait to work on this for Purple Showers uh, 2024. And yeah, means also means there's going to be a kitting up video coming very, very soon because we're near the end of March. So yeah, I don't have much time. I better get cracking. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this unboxing, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Bye.